what's up guys my name is isaac matthew you can find me on matmega.com in today's story i will be looking at how to retouch an image using flon frequency separation if you know you've not subscribed to my youtube channel please endeavor to do that and hit the bell notification icon for new notification anytime we put up a new video now let's get started now the first thing you have to do is just to drag in the image into photoshop um i think this image is not on raw format what you have to do is just to duplicate ctrl j then open in camera raw which is ctrl shift a Um, the first thing I do um, each time I come to this camera row is I move my contrast up a little, bring my highlights down, my shadows up, and my blacks down a little, and um, shift my temperature up. Then let me press the before, after, before, and after. So basically, I think I'm okay with this um, <coughs> camera raw um, filter. Then all I have to do is just to click OK. Now, um, basically what I do is I match two of the layers, both layer one and the background, I match them together. But because I'm not yet done working on the layer, I won't match them for now so what I'm gonna do is click on the spot healing brush tool and um, sorry and click on the layer one and start removing the blemishes one after the other start removing the blemishes and um, sometimes after you might have done this it creates another map on the face of the model but i will do a little correction on that while retouching the image so this is how i remove blemishes okay let's check the before after before and after i think i'm okay with this then i will merge them highlight the two layer which is layer one and background and press ctrl g to match them Okay, now I think I'm set to apply my frequency separation. All you have to do is just to open your action panel, go down and see flown frequency separation. Basically, you should know that um, before you do any other thing on your image, you have to check the bit in which the image is operating from. So basically, this image is on 8 bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click flown frequency separation 8 bit and um, press continue I'm gonna use a radius of 9 now what this radius does is it helps the higher the radius the um, the more details that comes out from the image so what I did now is just to ensure that the details on the image comes out very well so that was why I used 9 as my radius now I've applied the frequency separation I'll just go to my mixer brush tool and I'll make sure my background color is on black and my foreground is on white then I'm um, set my wet on 30 load 30 mix 30 flow 30 and i will check the sample all layers i will ok 
okay I think I'm okay now now nah, now nah, start brushing start brushing what I do before brushing I make sure that I zoom out like this because when you zoom out this when you zoom in this way after brushing it will make the image to look flat so what I do is I zoom in this way now let's start brushing sure you don't brush from highlight to shadows or from shadows to highlights that's have you seen the before after before after keep on brushing wherever you see the um, you see highlights you brush the highlight wherever you see shadows you brush the shadows At this point, I think I'm gonna uh, forward this um, video. I, I'm gonna make it to be a bit faster so that I can be able to show us few things that I want to show us. Okay, let's check the before after before and after um when you get to the nose basically what i do here is i just brush around around the nose not on the highlights Now I think um I think I'm okay with this. So to further the retouch to make it look more good and for the details to come out very nice, just go to your so just pick your lasso tool and draw on the forehead. Go to filter blur Gaussian blur since I used nine as my radius at the beginning so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lift it a bit the more you lift it the more you check the skin details of the model um, I think I'm okay with 
30 click ok now um no let's check sorry let's check 25 25 okay now draw do the same thing again blow Gaussian blow and this time I'm gonna reduce to 20 do the same thing here same thing here when you are doing all these things be mindful of the edges I'm gonna do the same thing here to make it look more unique okay here too Okay, um, Kali, this image is cool. Let's check the before, after, before, after. Now, with a little time I still have with me, I'm still gonna remove some spots. Have to do is just to, um, click on the frequency separation, high frequency separation. You know, this one is we worked on low frequency separation, so this one is high frequency separation click on it select your brush healing tool zoom in very well and remove remove these um spot make sure click on the black and white adjustment layer in fact with ctrl i then select your brush to make sure the background is on black foreground is on white now zoom in to the eye and brush Basically, this is how I retouch my images using front frequency separation. You can download this particular action on the description below. Just click on the link on the description and download this um, action. Free is for free. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon for new notification anytime we put up a new video. See you guys in my next tutorial.